First thing that I would do is start with something known as an indications for use or an intended use statement. So firstly, you need to know what exactly is your device. So people think they know what the device is, but that is not always the case. So first of all, what are the medical indications? What are the specific conditions or diseases to be screened? Are they going to be monitored? Are they going to be treated? Are they going to be diagnosed? That's something that's important to know. In addition to that, who is the patient population? What are their demographics? What are their genders? What are their age groups? What are their weight ranges? Do they have any health problems? As you touched on foot orthopedics, these may be people that have certain disabilities about them. So that's something that has to be factored in. Of course, who are the intended user groups? Is this something that's going to be used at home? Is this something that's going to be used in a clinical setting under the supervision of a physician? And also, who exactly are going to be the users? So you have your primary users, but you also may have secondary users. That may be a nurse who's maybe helping you with physiotherapy or checking up on you. They also need to be aware about this device too. Intended parts of the body, which we've already covered. Intended environment, is this something that's going to be sterile? Is this something going to be non-sterile? Because what that means is you may need a different production facility for this. And of course, the intended environment, like I've already touched on, is a hospital, is it going to be at home? Is this going to be a single-use device? Is it going to be reusable? You know, does it need constant re-sterilization? Is it going to be used in an ambulance setting? Is it going to be used in a hospital setting? And of course, the operating principle, how do you need to use that device to meet its intended use? Once you've got that statement in place, you now know what the device is. And with that device, what you can start doing is you can start looking for what's known as predicate devices. So for example, in the USA, there's two ways around it. You've got the 510K process, which is you find a similar product onto the market, you make similar claims and you put it through, or you go down de novo, which means that it's completely novel. There's nothing out there on the market similar to it. And you go down that process. So that's basically what it is. What is your product? That's the first thing you need to do. And number two, the question that I often get is saying, currently, which market should I go to first? Should I go to the EU? Should I go to the UK? Should I go to the USA? I say that's a question for health economics. Don't look to see what is the easiest market, but look to see where is your product going to have the most impact. So for example, you said ankle issues. So that might be something that's very prevalent in the USA, but maybe not prevalent in the UK. So the USA is also where you want to basically go. So number one, what is your product? Number two, where is it going to have the most impact? So now you've defined what your product is, the risk classification. And then number two, you've identified the region of the world where it's going to have the most impact. And then you can see what regulatory strategy you basically need for that.